Tere tulemast, vaatama Põff tv -t. Me ei oleme siin Põffi Pop-up Studios, Nordic Hotel Foorumis. Tänavu linastub Põffil film, mille nimi on Matrier, mis on Horvaatia film. Ja see on üks väga südamlik lugu ema ja tütre vahelisest suhtest ja andestamisest. Nii et vaatame selle filmi trailerit. Resti meni rõõtse ka, kus ei tiit. Dobris. Dobris. Rõõ. Ja see probaa kolaad? Nii sa me osad. A nii sa see triibala muud. Sest vaad, noh. Ja minuga on siin filmi Matriar režišör Jure Pavlovic. Hello, how are you? I'm quite well. Enjoying the festival and always as a filmmaker, always it's a special moment to have a premiere and you know it's a kind of like a, a final step of the very long process. Uh, the first thing I want to ask you is um, how are you feeling currently? Because yesterday, as you say, it was the premiere of your first uh, feature film, so. Um, what emotions are inside of you now? Well, I'm happy, of course. I'm relieved that the film is finally out. I'm happy. I think it was a very nice reception. And intimately, I'm satisfied with the film and how everything went. So, I feel good. Did you receive any feedback from the audience? Yeah, yeah, I received. Afterwards, we had a small after party. So there was the audience. And of course, first there was a Q&A which was very interesting, you know, very interesting questions. And afterwards there was like also a, a little after party. So I received mostly very positive feed, uh, feedback with very interesting uh, questions. So it was very nice experience overall. And uh, now your last short film, Picnic, won the European uh, Film Award for best short film. And this was in two, 2015. So, after you won this award, did you feel that you have this uh, pressure on your shoulders that uh, your first uh, feature-length film has to be also a, a success or has to be even better? Well, I always have a pressure as a filmmaker because it's a kind of... I really love the film so much and filmmaking that I always have high expectations of myself. So. I wouldn't say it's so connected with the award, but of course, you know, when you, you win a big award like that for a short film, then a lot of people are expecting from you, like, you know, big things. So, uh, the answer is yes, but I wouldn't just connect it with the award, I would connect it with my nature. And also, I think, like, this film matter it's like a very subtle and minimalist first feature film so uh, kind of I really think I did something which I really wanted to do and and the kind of film which I really love so uh, I, I didn't have this kind of perception I really need to do some film which will did winning the award um uh, opened any doors for you or uh, yeah. presented well, I, any opportunities? Yeah, I, I think it opened the doors. I think, you know, mm -hmm. we got funding from our film fund for the first feature after winning the award. And, you know, it helped finance the first feature. Uh, 
So I think, yes, it opened the door. I think, on the other hand, I think that this, this kind of project for the first feature, it was a bit different than that short and it was not like a big story. So it maybe didn't help directly, you know, with the foreign uh, crew and foreign money, but that's basically because of the type of the film, which is the first feature. So it's kind of like a small film in a way. Not in um, you are also the screenwriter for uh, Mater. So where did the uh, idea for the story uh, come from or what was the inspiration? Well, the idea came from my family. So it's kind of about one event from my family, uh, which showed me that sometimes, um, for me, it's very interesting how family dynamics which are the same for years can change in a moment, in one serious moment like illness, like crash or something. And uh, when this like very serious moment happens, uh, the family dynamics which are the same for years now become different, you know. Uh, family starts to communicate uh, and you're forced to re-examine the relationship so uh, so kind of like I had this kind of personal experience which kind of inspired me to think maybe I want to make a film about it and then you know maybe after four or five years I said okay I really want to make a film about this, you know, about the woman which is not in good terms with her mother and, and her mother is now ill, she needs to put her in the hospital, she comes back to the place she, she left a long time ago and now everything changes for her. Uh, are the two main characters, the mother and the daughter, also inspired from your family because they were very realistic and the relationship between them is very realistic so how were these two characters created yeah yeah i had i had inspiration basic inspiration was based on some family members but of course you know in the script development you change something something you add you know making a film it's always a making of a new world so it's a so it's always a, a, a question, it was always a bit of a change. And, um, and of course the actresses, when I casted the actresses, they helped a lot in making uh, uh, these characters alive. And so it's... Uh, so yeah, it was... It's a mix of... It's a mix of both, yeah. But how easy or uh, how hard it was for you to find the, the right actors? Well, uh, it was very hard to find, but still I had like, for a long time I had these two actresses somewhere in my mind. So I approached them a lot before even the final script was made. So we talked, we did a bit of reading with different script versions and then after the after the after the script final script was made a couple of months before the shooting so i did some tests and i knew i want the two of them and they brought a lot of it a lot of their baggage inside you know um, also what was interesting for me was that although the story takes place in croatia uh, the um, atmosphere and the mentality of this small town is very common also for Estonia, or at least I uh, found many similarities between the two. So, um, uh, was this also one of your goals to, to make this uh, story and to create an atmosphere which a lot of people can resonate with, or like a lot of people can relate to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of my goals. And even, you know, after the projections, people from France came and said, okay, this story really, really uh, 
kind of resonated with me, you know, there was a story even from Western, because, you know, when you are from the Balkans or from Eastern Europe countries, you always feel that maybe people from your part of the world will resonate better and uh, this, this small village and these characters are more connected with the like Eastern Europe, but even people from Western would say, oh, I really like this village, you know, this main character of mother, it reminds me of my grandmother and, uh, you know, that's, that's, and it's the same and, you know, so it's, it's very cool. Uh, also, what was visually very interesting for me was that the camera is almost attached to Jasna, the daughter. So even when she's having a dialogue with someone, uh, she's, uh, the camera focuses on, on her. So uh, what was behind that de decision? Or was it because you wanted to, to emphasize uh, her experience and her feelings? Or can you, can you explain a bit what was behind that decision? Yeah, uh, well, with that very specific style of shooting, I wanted to really for the viewers to be all the time with the main character to experience whole experiences whole this very strong emotional experience through her lens to, through her face through her emotion so uh, and kind of like even with the relationship with the mother uh, for me it was very interesting how physically gradually as the film is going, they're becoming closer. And even in the lens, the mother is becoming closer and closer to the daughter until, you know, they finally attach. So, and I think re really this way of film is he helps in creating intimacy with the main ca character, really helps for the viewer to really be inside of the head of the main character to attach. And for me, this kind of filmmaking, it's more, I think it's more rewarding for the audience, you know, because it's not, it, it's a bit more challenging, I think, for the audience than typical way of shooting. But here, you know, when you just watch through the lens of the main character and you're not just, you know, showing everything what's happening, you are really, you know, can re really focuses more on emotion, less on the story and, you know, focus. So it's more on emotion and I think it's really more rewarding uh, uh, experiences in the end. Um, your film is about forgiveness essentially and sometimes it is very hard to uh, forgive someone. So um, how to find the strength to forgive someone? What would you recommend or I don't want to spoil the film for the viewers, <laughs> yeah. but... Well, forgiveness, it's all, I think it's always a very difficult thing, you know, because it's, it's uh, especially with somebody who is, you know, family or who is very close. So usually if you're not in good terms with family, there's something big, you know, for you emotionally or for, for you in your head, you know, it's always some big wound which you carry so it's um, so f this forgiveness always can be tricky so it's uh, uh, this 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 uh, and I think you know for a person it's always hard to find the strength to do it but I think it's that's for me what's interesting in these relationships, you know, with family and stuff, because it's, they are very hard. Uh, sometimes it's kind of like, you know, you're in, in a bad terms with your family, and then something, you know, really big or hard happens, and then naturally this primitive bond, which we all have with our parents or with our children, comes alive. So it's... Um, Something like even if you would not want to become a part of or you don't want to be a part of the family you grown up, you always carry something from it. So it's... Yeah. What did you learn from, uh, from this process of making this film? 
Well, for me it was also quite intense emotional experience, so it was like very challenging, very hard. So I, of course, I learned a lot as a as a filmmaker in different in different ways. You know, you learn by experience and by mistake. But I also I also learn uh, as a person. You know, how to communicate better with the big crew. How to really give a part of your soul to each of the members, especially to the actors with whom. You know, you, you need to also work at the emotional level, really give the back and forth. So I think I become more patient. I become more better in, uh, you know, I, I can be very introvert and shy sometimes. And here I learn how to, you know, re really sometimes give this energy. And yeah, it was very tough and emotional, but it was very good. Do you know what your next film is going to be about? Well, uh, I still don't know. I'm working on one documentary, very interesting, which is completely different, about the last Yugoslav basketball team. But also it's a psychological study, you know, it's a psychological drama. It's not what it seems at first, but yeah, I like I like to make films about specific psychology, specific relationships, and it's okay. Okay, great. Thank you very Thank much you. for this interview, and I hope you have a lovely time here in Tallinn at the Puff Film Festival. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rääkisime siis Jure Pavlovici ka tema debüüt filmist. Maater, mis esilinnastus siin Pöffi filmifestivalil. Suureid tähte ei ole vaatamast ja kohtumise neige peab.